Hey guys, welcome to Visa Excelization. This is Nestor Adrian Sen, and today we're gonna learn how to use conditional formatting in Power BI. Hey, if this is the first time that you are on this channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss anything. All right, guys, let's get started. Here is the content. We're gonna look into six different points today, okay? So we're gonna learn about the uses of conditional formatting, what can you apply conditional formatting to, how to apply conditional formatting, the most common types of formatting, and of course, practical examples. And finally, if you are like most of us, you love bonuses, I have a bonus for you guys as well. All right, so let's keep going. Uses of conditional formatting. So by using conditional formatting, you can specify customized colors, including colors gradients, based on field values, okay? You can also represent cell values with data bars or KPI icons or as active web links, okay? So this theory is very important, guys. Let's keep that in mind, okay? Next slide. What can you apply conditional formatting to? So you can apply conditional formatting to any text or data field, as long as you base the formatting on a field that has numeric values, name of the color or hex code, or web URL values as well. Okay, very, very useful information. Let's go to the next slide. How to apply conditional formatting. In order to apply conditional formatting, we need to select a table or matrix visualization in Power BI Desktop. As you guys can see right here on my screen, there is a screenshot, right? So under visualizations, for this particular case, I have selected this table right here, right? And then below values right here, we have a few options. In this particular case, I have selected gain or loss, which is a measure, okay? Hit on the drop down list right here, and then automatically we can see conditional formatting right there. So that's how it works, guys. Let's go to the next slide. For this particular tutorial, we're gonna look into four types of formatting. Okay, so here we have background color, font color, data bars, and icons. And of course, we're going to have examples about these types of formatting. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Practical examples. As I mentioned before, if you are like me, you learn by doing. So here we have four different types of formatting, and we're going to go one by one. Guys, this is gonna be fun and let's do it. All right. So here we have our data, so our information, our visuals, right? So the first thing that we wanna do is apply conditional formatting to the table on the left. And we're gonna use this field right here, gain or loss to apply conditional formatting. And of course, we want to use background formatting first. First thing that we want to do is select the table. In this case, we have selected the table. Then we're going to go into gain or loss right here. Click right here on the drop down list. And then we can select the conditional formatting. And of course, we want to use background color first. Right now, we have this new window. Of course, we want to select color scale, we are good there. The field gain or loss, we are good there. And the minimum value right here is light blue, right? So this is what we wanna do. We wanna select right here a different color. We can go to custom color right here and let's select red for negative numbers, okay? Another option that you wanna use here as well is the divergent option. So by doing that, if we hit this option right here, we have right here another option, right? Center. So in this particular case, this is yellow. So that's what we want. And then let's hit okay. 
boom. See, that's how it works, guys. So here we have red backgrounds for negative numbers. And then we have right here, blue background for positive numbers. Very, very useful tool, guys. All right, so now let's go to the next type of formatting, font color. For this example, we're gonna use this table right here. Please, let's make sure that you select the table first. So we have selected the table and then we're gonna go into gain or loss again. Click right here and then conditional formatting and then font color, all right? So right here, what we wanna do is basically the same thing, okay? So format by color scale, we are good. The field is also good. And right here, we're gonna select red and then diverging again, and then we hit okay. Hit okay, boom, that's how it works. And for this particular case, we have changed the font color. So we have blue for positive numbers and we have red for negative numbers, all right? So now let's go to the next type of formatting. And we're gonna use the same tables, okay? And now let's do the data bars. We're gonna select the table again, this table on the left, and then we're gonna go into gain or loss, and right here, conditional formatting, and then data bars, okay? So everything here looks fine, because we have right here base value, we have right here base value, gain or loss, we are good. And then right here, what we can do is, for negative numbers, we're gonna select red, okay? And that way, this is more aligned with what we have been doing, okay? And then we hit okay, and let's see what happens. Boom. Very, very interesting, right? All right, so now let's use icons, because most of you guys love icons, so let's do it. We're gonna select this table, and then let's go into gain or loss again, drop down list right here, conditional for money, and then let's select icons right here, okay? So this is very interesting, guys, because we wanna apply rules, okay? So format by rules, we are good there, and we have the field gain or loss, perfect. So that the icon layout, uh, we can put it on the right, right of data, okay? And then the icon alignment, let's do it in the middle, and then the style, it's up to you guys. There are many options right here. I personally love this one right here. So I'm gonna select that one. And then let's not make changes yet, okay? And let's apply what we have right there because this is by default, right? This part right here. So this is based on percentages, right? So let's, do, let's apply this default option right here and let's see what happens, okay? That's what happens. So we only have two colors right here. We have green for positive numbers, and then we have red for negative numbers, okay? So what happened to the yellow option, right? So something is missing there. Let's remove this conditional formatting. So let's select this table. Let's go to gain or loss again, and then remove conditional formatting, all, okay? Let's apply again the conditional for money. Conditional for money icons, right? Okay. Rules, gain or lost, same thing right here, right of data in the middle, and then style, let's select this one right here. Okay. And now let's make some changes right here. Let's select numbers. Okay. This is very interesting, guys. If the value is greater than or equal to minimum, let's select that minimum. And this is quite tricky, guys. I'm gonna show you guys a chart with more explanation about ranges, okay? All right, so, so we, here we have, if value is greater than or equal to minimum and is less than or equal to zero, right? It should be number, this icon should be red. Perfect. So now the other option right here. If the value is greater than, this should be greater than, in this case, zero, and this should be number, 
and it's less than let's select number here and then I have a number right here for this particular example I'm saying 21,000 okay if we have values between 0 and 21,000 the icon should be yellow perfect so now let's do for the last row right here if this is greater than or equal to in this case 21,000 again this should be number and also if the numbers are less than or equal to if you're guessing right this should be maximum right after we do that let's hit ok boom now we can see the yellow icons right there so that's how it works guys it, this is a very very useful tool as well all right so now let's see what else we have let's go back to our presentation real quick all right guys bonus i know you guys love bonuses okay so here we have three more tips color by color values conditional formatting by applying rules give conditional formatting to a stacked column chart remember that i said before in order to apply conditional formatting we need to have a table or a matrix remember that but we can give conditional formatting to a stacked column chart as well so I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so let's do it. All right, guys. So here we have three different charts. So the first thing that we want to do is to add color by color values. Okay, and we're going to use this table right here. Let's select the table and then let's go to this drop down list. And then right here, let's use conditional formatting. And for this particular case, we're going to use font color and right here we want to select field values after we do that let's hit ok boom see right there it's hard to see right here but this is yellow light blue green and gray right so as i said if you have a field or a measure with color name or hex value data you can use conditional formatting to automatically apply those colors to a columns background or font color for this particular case we just applied font color very useful tool as well okay so now let's remove this formatting real quick okay all boom so let's keep doing and for this particular case to change the background okay color again conditional formatting and then background color the same thing right here okay format by field value okay and then we hit okay boom see so here we have for yellow we have the yellow background for green we have the green background for gray we have the gray background really really important tool okay very good so now let's apply conditional formatting by applying rules we have seen this before in our previous examples but this is going to be a little bit different okay and for this case we're going to select this table right here and then we're going to use this field right here okay conditional formatting and then background color okay and then format by rules here's the rule if we have negative numbers we should have red background if we have positive numbers we want to have a blue background so let's do it so now right here we have if the value if value is greater than or equal to this should be minimum right number minimum and less than or equal to zero this should be red okay this is just for negative numbers so now we want to add a new rule new rule right here and then if value is greater than should be greater than zero in number right here and less than in this case should be maximum right number this should be blue and then we hit okay and let's see what happens boom see right there so we have red background for negative numbers and we have blue background for positive numbers perfect that's how it works guys all right, so now let's go to the last bonus. 
and we're going to apply conditional formatting to a stacked column chart. So first thing we want to do is select this chart right here. And then if we go to value, because these are values, right? The gain or loss. And let's hit this option right here. Let's see what happens. So we can see anything, right? We don't see conditional formatting there. There's no option there. So how can we do this? So this is the trick. Let's hit escape to leave this. In order to do this, we're going to go to format right here. Hit this option. And right here, we want to hit data colors. As you guys can see right here, there is a default color, which is blue, which is the, the color that we have for this chart, right? And then if you can see right here, three vertical dots, right? If you hit that option, ah, see? Now we can see conditional formatting right there, okay? And then we hit that option and let's see what happens, okay? And of course, we wanna apply rules here. Rules, gain or lost, and then the same thing right here. If value is greater than or equal to minimum number and is less than or equal to zero number, this should be red, right? Boom, right here. And then we add a new rule right if value is greater than zero number and is less than or equal to in this case maximum right you can type just the letter m and automatically the word maximum populates okay and right here of course we want to select blue and then we hit okay boom Bingo, guys, that's how it works. For negative numbers, here we have red, right? Below zero, right there, under zero. And then for positive numbers, we have blue colors. Perfect. All right, guys, let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, if you found this information very helpful, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys again and see you in my next tutorial.